Hi, um, we're continuing with cell biology and life science in a nutshell. Um, so earlier we were learning about um, uh, cell membranes. So um, the membranes of cells, which are um, bilayers made up of uh, two uh, layers or sheets of, um, of phospholipid molecules. Um, this is what the uh, membrane looks like again. So uh, each pho individual phospholipid molecule has a hydrophilic head, which consists of um, a phosphate group and an attached alcohol group, which is polar. Um, so, so both of those are polar, and there's a glycerol uh, backbone uh, which links to a hydrophobic um, or nonpolar fatty acid um, set of tails. And uh, two tails, one tail is straight, uh, which is um, a saturated hydrocarbon tail, and the other one is an unsaturated and has a kink, um, which is caused by a double bond between two hydrocarbon groups. Um, um, about midway um, through the chain. So the most um, phosphat so phospholipids um, have this basic structure. Um, the only variation comes in the head group in the polar end of it um, that is attached to the phosphate group, which can vary. Um, generally, there's about four different kinds, which we learned earlier. Um, depending on what is bound to the phosphate group um, on these uh, the variation of the head group. So two layers of phospholipids make up one bilayer. The fatty acid nonpolar ends face one another in the inner um, in, in inner um, par portion of the layer while the polar head groups face, the um, extracellular and the intracellular um, solution. So um, it's a basically that's how the membrane is formed, which is a, a barrier between the outside of the cell and the inside of the cell. So any kind of movement across the membrane is usually guided by proteins which are embedded in this membrane, uh, which function as channels, uh, whether to move ions across, which are ion protein ion channels, or um, to move across different kinds of molecules um, based on um, re uh, receptors which face the outside um, or the inside of the membrane. So molecules can be moved in or out of the cell across the membrane via these protein channels. Um, proteins which go inside the membrane are called integral proteins. The ones that are on the surface are called, um, um, they're called peripheral, peripheral proteins. So. Here you can see the membrane and all the proteins embedded working as channels or the um, that move across uh, um, molecules. ATP is used in some of these channels that move molecules across the concentration gradient. Those are transport ATP aces. Proteins that are um, lipopolysaccharides uh, or part lipid, part sugar, um, uh, or lipoproteins, part lipid, part protein, also function as receptors, um, helping with attracting various molecules to the membrane, working as sort of like receptors for recognition and signaling. In, um, inducing signaling pathways, various reactions. 
Again, this is the structural formula for the phospholipid molecule, the glycerol backbone, the phosphate group, and the um, alcohol head group, and the two fatty acid tails. <clears throat> this is the um, part that varies between the um, several kinds of uh, phospholipids, is the head group attached to the phosphate group. And so that's the um, alcohol modification on the polar side, interacting with the soluble um, fluid inside and outside the cell. Um, so um, the main types of the uh, phospholipids, pho uh, phosphatidylcholine, which is lecithin, and the cephalins, which are phosphatidylethanolamine and phosphatidylserine, are the um, groups of the phospholipids, white, widespread in the membranes of plants and animals. And lecithin phosphatidylcholine is the most abundant. However, it um, is rare in microorganisms. Again, proteins embedded in the phospholipid matrix transport substances through the membrane. Phospholipids are also called phosphatides. So they all have phosphorus and um, play an important structural um, role and a metabolic role as uh, constituents of the membrane of cells. So complex lipids are um, glycolipids or lipoproteins, which are made up of pro uh, lipids plus uh, um, sugar groups or plus um, um, proteins. So they're complex lipids or um, these are di these are distinguished from um, simple lipids. Um, which are pure lipids and uh, steroids as well, which are all fat-soluble components of the cell. Phosphoglyceride is also another name for phospholipids, phosphatide as well. So the phosphate group attached to um, two alcohols um, give, um, give the polarity to the phospholipid molecule and the one or two fatty acid tails give it the nonpolar um, um, aspect, giving this molecule an amphiphatic nature of being both polar and nonpolar. Um, if they have one single fatty acid tail, they form micelles like this in a globular form with the one single tail facing inward and the polar head groups facing outward. Um, if they have two fatty acid tails, they form into a membrane spontaneously. So that's the, lip, the bilayer that um, forms from the cylindrical shape of the molecule when it has two fatty acid tails. And this is what the membrane uh, looks like of cells. Inside um, the membrane also are cholesterol molecules, which are steroid molecules embedded in between the phospholipids for increased um, fluidity of the membrane. So the stacking is reduced. Um, the integrity of the membrane is increased by these supportive molecules, the cholesterols, um, which consist of a polar head group, a four a ring um, structure, and a an, an, um, nonpolar hydrocarbon tail. Um, they fit between the phospholipid molecules and they prevent um, a certain amount of movement of the bilayer. Um, so, um, in, in a way, immobilizing the membrane and uh, reducing its movement uh, as well. Thank you.